they're human beings too, you know. Um, and I know we're we moving fast, you know. We get Fitz got down the field, and we come at full speed, and she's sitting down, you know, taking pictures. I know that kind of hurt it, so I had to make sure she was all right. Did you say anything to her? What did you say? No, I just rubbed the head because it looked like I hit her head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see the picture that she got of the play? Yeah, the stiff arm. It was her with the picture. I just told her it was a great shot. I actually DM'd her and asked was she okay, you know, and I told her that was a great pick. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is she doing okay? Yeah, she told me she's fine. You know, like the video a little different today. No hat. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk to y'all today. So, uh, what's going on, y'all? We have uh, that quarterback series week six. Um, so we're gonna start off with the big game of the week: the Houston Texans against KC. So, uh, luckily, I had a chance to sit uh, and watch this whole game. You know. Um, got my notes right here. Luckily, I stay in that, uh, the area. Um, you know, as y'all all know, I'm, I live in St. Louis. So we get all the, the KC games. So I can watch the KC games in depth. So if, my, so if it sounds like I'm not trying to, uh, if it sounds like I'm not doing certain games in depth, it's either because I couldn't, I couldn't get the game and I had to watch the highlights or, uh, this wasn't really much there to say. So let's go to the KC Texans game. Deshaun Watson versus um, our boy Patrick Mahomes. Now, Patrick Mahomes has been struggling. Um, he was struggling the last couple of weeks. Um, that uh, that angle is really bothering him more than he's letting on. Because every time he gets hit in it, they showed a, gra- they showed, um, a graphic early the, uh, during the telecast when he tried to drop back. And he tried to put weight on that ankle. And you know, when you're gimpy, you put weight on it. You do that, he'd be at that. He still got the ball out on time. And it wasn't really his fault that um, that they lost. It was more of KC's defense, which all of us said was going to be the problem for Kansas City. That uh, they wasn't able, they weren't going to be able to drive the ball. They wasn't go- they wasn't gonna be able to get off the field. And that's what happened. They've lost the time of possession. Yesterday they lost the time of possession against the Colts. And by the way, uh Jacoby Brissett is off this week, so we won't be talking about him. Um they lost the time of possession against Jacoby Brissett and they lost the time of possession against Deshaun Watson because um teams are starting to figure them out. Fortunately, fortunately, but I think they have a pretty much soft schedule. You know, they play. I think they play in the AFC West. I think with the with the Chargers, the, the Chargers, the Broncos, them, and I think it's one other team. I always forget, but they play in that division. Um, so they should be fine. But he didn't play. Like I said, he didn't play well. Um, his number is 19 for 25, 273 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick. And the pick almost got called back, but uh, some weird rule about the, it being in the air, um, it being in the air, and you can fight with the receivers. It was some crazy, crazy rule. Uh, um, so he didn't play awful, but he didn't play what he could have played up to. So, so now we have Houston on the other side of that. Deshaun Watson, I didn't know he was just a turnover machine. Not saying he's a turnover machine. We're going to get to a guy who's a turnover machine later. But um, Deshaun played well. He, I, Me personally, I feel like he threw too many passes. Uh, 30 for 42, 280, a touchdown, and a pick. He threw the picks, and they were the... Uh, there were his one of his bad passes of the night, and both picks were ill advised passes that he shouldn't have thrown. I think one he was just trying to make a big play, and the other one he was trying to throw up to uh, D Hop to give him a chance to make the play. But both plays he shouldn't have done it right. He rushed for ten attempts, ten attempts and forty two yards, right? Um, but he had two rushing touchdowns, one big, one big that pretty much sealed the game up, and then one early in the game. Uh, uh, the running game was key. A big, big key. Carlos Hyde had himself a day. 26 uh, attempts, 116 yards in touchdown. You can tell they wanted to run the ball down KC's throw. They made a concerted effort to run the ball down KC's throw. They're like, we're going to punch you in the mouth, and we're going to run the ball down your throat. So um, that's that's pretty much what it was for that game. Um, 
It was a good. It was a good game, though. It was a good game, though. Houston almost lost that game. Uh, if if that game was close, they would have lost that game because their kicker is got off. He missed the field goal and he missed the PAT. Um, I, I was sick of him. <laughs> like, and I'm just sitting there watching. So, um, really good game. Really good game. Um, it, the, the best game of the year I've watched was still Baltimore and KC. So uh, we'll see how that progresses. I'm sorry, I dropped my tablet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how uh, that progresses, and uh, both two, them two, are the face of the league. What I was saying before my camera died is uh, they'll be the face of the league soon. If not, they're already the face of the league. So uh, let's get to the Cowboys. 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 <sighs> Cowboys. So, Dak is not worth $40 million. I've been saying this since week one. Dak is not worth $40 million. And um, today, they pretty much got blown out. They made it a game, but they got blown out for the most part. Uh, they really didn't get it going until the end. And you know how teams back up and they let you back in the game. That happened. Um, what happened is Kellen Moore, they've been making a concerted effort to try to change the the offense to suit more of Dak, right? So it's kind of it's kind of fizzled into where uh, Zeke is not getting the ball as much, right? And so they've tried to do that the last couple of weeks against good teams, and it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. And so, so they did the same thing uh, this week. They tried to give it to Dak and let Dak it become more of a passing team. It didn't work this week. Uh, the Jets dominated. The Jets dominated. Like I'm not sure what type, what, what kind of highlights I'm gonna put in here. Well, I might just put the game highlights so y'all can see the full scope. But uh, yeah, the, the Jets dominated. Like yeah, he threw for two seventy seven, twenty eight to forty four. Y'all know how I feel about throwing almost fifty passes. I I feel like that's too many passes. Um. They didn't get a roll in into the second half, and they was already down. I think it was 24-0, 24-9, 24-6, something like that. They were down a lot of points already. And so they had uh, – and the funny part about it, they was like, all right, let's go back to the running game. The running game immediately got them back into the game. So um, Dak is not $40 million. He's not worth $40 million. I'm sorry. Um He's a decent middle of the road quarterback. We're gonna to get to another quarterback later, who's I mean, my personal opinion, I feel is better than Dak. Now he has a better uh, coach, but I feel he might be better than Dak. But uh, overall, Cowboys didn't play well. Lost again. They're five hundred now. So, uh, Cowboys. <laughs> uh, so now we got turnover machine known as Jameis Winston. I was I had some joke about oh yeah so I'm gonna do it it's corny you see this this is this is a Apple turnover this is what Jameis Winston was giving out in London all Apple turnovers like just he took thirty for fifty four four hundred yards uh, TD five interceptions seven turnovers overall and that was pretty much the game right there. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, who should be an MVP consideration, was running all over them. But Jameis Winston and that offense put them put the Bucks in terrible positions. Like awful, awful, just awful. Um, that's really all I have to say about the Bucks. Turnovers killed them. Yeah, he threw for four hundred yards, but you had five turnovers and y'all had seven turnovers. Uh, the offense has seven turnovers as a as a group. You know what I mean? So. You you can't you can't do that. You can't you can't do that. Expect to win. And so we have Kyler Murray now, who is playing who played the Atlanta Falcons. This was a shootout. Atlanta's defense is awful. But uh Kyler's defense is just as awful. So um they they went back and forth. Um Atlanta threw a touchdown, Kyler threw a touchdown, uh Matt Ryan runs for a touchdown. 
I, I'm, I'm, I don't think he ran he ran in for a touchdown. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Um, he didn't run in for a touchdown. So, but he did. But he did play well. I don't have the numbers in front of me. These are the numbers. The numbers are right here. Um, from from the highlights I've seen, Kyler played well. He looked like, and I have wrote, written down, he looked like Tom Brady because all the receivers were very open. There was no defense being played for real in this game. Like it, it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch. I'll give you that. It was really, really fun to watch. But there was really no defense being played in this game. If if you like defense, this wasn't the game for you. So uh, they end up winning because the Atlanta's Atlanta's kick uh, kicker missed the field goal. That was the theme of this week: missing field goals. Or not field goals, missing uh, PATs. Like, I don't know what's going on with the kickers this week. So, um, they ended up winning 34-33. So, next next we have uh, Russell Wilson. This is probably going to be his key quotes. So, you guys are probably going to get it twice. Mm-hmm. So, you're probably, you guys are probably going to get it twice. Uh, um, I haven't done a key quotes in a couple weeks. <clears throat> uh, we have Russell Wilson is next. This man here, he is, when you talk about a black quarterback, he is what you want. Like, I know we talk about how corny Russell Wilson is and this, that's in the third. But if you look what he's done off on and off the, on and off the field, like, this dude is what you want to be as a, for him and LeBron are like what you want to be as a man. Like, um, but, but we get into, uh, we didn't get into the game. I just really want to put that out because he don't get enough credit. Uh, dude is playing masterful. Um, I wrote down, just keep playing and you give yourself a chance. Russell Wilson never gives up. No matter if their team is down by 10, 20, 40, it don't matter. Russell Wilson is stoic. He do the same. He does He does basically everything people fall over themselves about with Tom Brady. They was down. I can't remember. They kept getting down. They was down by because Cleveland kept jumping out to big leads. And uh, Russell Wilson just kept answering, kept answering. DK Metcalf down the sideline. Dart, dart, dart. Getting out of getting out of, getting out of dodge. Making great plays. Defense coming up with, uh, with good plays. Making life hard for Baker Mayfield. Um, just a really, that's a really good game for Russell Wilson. He been he's been playing phenomenal this year. We don't talk enough about him because he's not flashy, and he plays for Seattle, and they don't have the Legion of Boom with all the talking anymore. So we don't really look at him like that. But Russell Wilson is not special, man. Um, I'm trying to get more footage of Russell Wilson because he deserves more coverage than I give him. Because you know, um, it's kind of the NFC West bias. I know the Rams are left, but still, you know. That 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 NFC rivalry is still pump, uh, NFC West rivalry still pumps in me, man. So that's probably why I haven't been giving him the love that he deserves. But dude's been playing nice. Two, 23 for thirty three, two touchdowns. Um, I'm not sure if he had a rushing touchdown. I don't think he did. Um, if he did, um, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Russell Wilson had a really good game. Um, just keep playing. And that's just like in life. You just keep pushing it, and eventually the wall is going to break down. So that's what I got to say about uh, Russell. So we're going to move on to uh, my other guy, one of my favorite of favorites. All of these quarterbacks are my favorites. But um, Lamar Jackson, dude had a crazy game. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, he, he set some record. Like he was the first quarterback to like rush for 150 and pass 250, something like that. Um, he shows you a little bit of everything. The run, the pass. Now it was against Cincinnati, so don't take it like, oh my God. But 21 for 33, 236 yards. Now he didn't have a passing touchdown and he didn't have an interception. So that's my knock. I want to see him be successful passing the ball consistently. That's my only problem. That's my only problem with um, with Lamar. I need to see him pass the ball more consistently. But uh, he rushed 19 attempts for 152 yards and two touchdowns. So what more can you ask for him? So um, play well. He, he played really, really well. So um, 
you take what you give him now, he's in his second year. Yeah, yeah he's in his second year. He came in the same class as Baker. So he's in his second year or so, and he's winning ball games. And he's been a winner. So he's been a winner since he was in college. So we'll see what happens with him next. Um, next week. I'm not sure if they have a have a buy or not this week. We're gonna get into a lot of buys in the next coming weeks or whatnot. So um, and the last team we have for this week um is the Saints. Now, um Teddy Bridgewater is born is he's he's this week's born quarterback. Because you know normally it's Jacob Brissett. You know, I normally say Jacob Brissett do Jacob Brissett things, but now I'm going to have to say Teddy Bridgewater doing Teddy Bridge things. Or as Shannon would say, Teddy, <laughs> Teddy of the Trouble Waters. Um, 24 of 36, 242 yards uh, and a touchdown. He didn't do much rushing. Because um, he, like I said, he's like Teddy, he's like Jacob Brissett. Jacob Brissett can run, but he really doesn't, he really chooses not to. So, so he, chooses not, he chooses not to run. Um, he game managed. He game managed. Um, he did what he had to do. I can't. I can't remember who they who they played, but I know he played. He played like I told y'all last week. Shane Payton is dialing it up for him. He's playing really well. He's not making the huge mistakes that Jameis is making. He's not making the spectacular plays that just Sean or Cam would make. So um, um, he played well. Played well. You know, he didn't he didn't lose the game for him. So um that's this that's the week. This this video went by really fast. This video went by really fast more than normal. Um I got a surprise for y'all next week. I wish I'd have had it this week, but uh I have a surprise for y'all next week. Um I'm gonna be in a whole different attire. So um y'all be good. Uh have a good rest of the week. I'm sure a quarterback, um, a black quarterback stuff video will be out some point this week, probably Saturday, maybe Wednesday. Um, normally those videos take a little longer to edit because I have to get all the footage and, you know, make sure I can get around the copyrights and all that stuff. But, um, so yeah, y'all be good, y'all. I'll see y'all next, I know I'll see y'all for sure next Tuesday. <laughs>